pyramids are one of the most incredible shapes. Besides a cube being made up out of six of them, they're actually a functional machine that has several different parts to it. And when you really understand this pyramid, you're going to understand how it evokes this law of physics for transferring energy from one point to another, which is extremely important for understanding space and how we exist and how we transfer energy and ourselves from one point in space to another point in space. So what we have here is a pyramid just drawn flat as a triangle. And what's really interesting about a pyramid is it's always shown with this capstone, almost like that it's different than the rest of the pyramid. There's something that draws our attention up to here. Sometimes it's got a little eye inside. Sometimes it's floating above. What we need to understand is what this pyramid is. And sometimes one of the easiest ways to actually identify what something is, is to simply just get rid of it altogether. And now we have a pyramid with no capstone. So now what do we do? Well, simple. Let's take these six pyramids, which we know are created, used to create a cube, and let's stick them back together just so that we get a chance to touch base with who we are again, back with source, which is, of course, the cube. So what we're going to do is we're going to look flat, or look at the pyramid as if from the top. So it almost looks flat. And here you can see the capstone is actually missing. And we know there's six pyramids. And if you draw them out properly, what you get is a shape of a cross, which really goes to signify that we're definitely on track to something very spiritual. Jesus and Christianity is symbolized through the cross itself. And as we know, six pyramids put together creates a cube, which is literally the source of light or source energy, which people also refer to as God. When Jesus said, I am the light, I am the way, um, he might not necessarily have been talking about himself, but the entire symbol which depicts everything that he teaches. So when we start to fold these pyramids together, stick this last pyramid on top, what we end up with is a cube, which is again back to source, back to God. And what we have is this little tiny cube inside of it, a core, a nucleus, a purpose. And so now we start to actually understand what this capstone is. Because we let go of it, and we took it back to source. So all we're going to do now is just simply draw our lines back. We'll eliminate the rest of the cube. What we have here is a pyramid, of course, with a cube on top for the capstone. And again, this really starts to show you what the pyramid is. The next part is actually the most crucial part, because you're going to find out what the capstone actually does.